Yo, what's up guys? Bren here, and we are going to be playing some Weaver in this game. And I think he just warded. I didn't have him selected, but my team is pinging that there's a ward maybe. Oh, he's just blasting us. Whatever. Sucks, but we have to tank it to get the rune. <laughs> um, this guy has double mango, he has tangos. Oh, he started with a windlace as well. That's very interesting. Ooh, I'm not paying attention. You want to be blocking this. Um, what I like to do is I like to stagger one creep. Um, we are playing on the smurf account, so when you stagger like this at lower ratings, they generally don't know what to do. This creep up here is probably going to die fairly fast, and that is all we want. We want the lane to get pushed into us. We just want EXP. Um, on Weaver, you just want to get a fast level 3, basically. At the deny. Don't want to take too much damage, so I'm going to move over here. I know that he has... I know that he has Blast. He doesn't have Mana Leak. That's why I can go for the auto attack. Now this is a decent amount of damage actually. We have creeps. I'm gonna get as much distance as I can, because I don't want to die. There is a chance that I die here. Oops. Ooh. With that Torrent missing though, it's kind of unlike unlikely. Okay, Slark isn't even going to go for it. That's a good decision. He'd just be wasting time. And I have to hotkey the courier. Oh my god, this is so annoying, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out more tangos. Okay. Oof. Oh no! <laughs> unfortunate for them. Very unfortunate. Uh, so we get Geminate attack here. It's going to help us last hit. Don't be afraid to use your mana under tower if you if you want to. I, I really don't like last hitting with this hero. His wind up is pretty insane until you get some agility. Um, okay. Mm, this is peculiar. Very peculiar. I mean, we can just man up on him. He's gonna blast. We dodge the blast. Mm. I can't tell if I was lagging or if he actually did see us with a sentry. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got him actually. Oh, this is weird. This is really fucking weird. I was actually well played by Ember. He got a kill and then he immediately TP'd out. Uh, pick up a wand. I'm just gonna try and mess with this guy. Mm. Okay. <sighs> I wanted just in time. This is <laughs> this is a very unfortunate lane for these guys. I can't tell. Yeah, there's a sentry here, right? Am I going insane? I don't know. But uh, we have a pretty good pick this game. <sighs> he did get us. Yeah, there's a sentry. Damn, okay. I was not expecting that. So we do die. Uh, the fortunate thing is that we're low level. And we get to just come back. And Slark is... Uh, he ate through a lot of his regen. <laughs> no... I feel bad for it. I feel bad for them. I've I've played everyone has played these lanes where the weaver just is able to get way too much, honestly. Okay. Um some sometimes I go boots, a lot of the times I don't. We'll see what happens this game. I don't think I need boots, but it can help with, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Or I just go, I think I can just go death for this game. They don't have enough disables and I can just go all in on damage early. Um, let's get a blight stone. Once the courier's back we'll get it. 
I like to go Blightstone, and I like to go uh, double Wraith Band, just for the massive amount of stats. Like, we, we're gonna have an Aquila, we're gonna have a Wand, and we're gonna have two Wraith Bands. We're doing too much damage to this guy, honestly. He's gonna be dead here. Okay. Let's do some more damage. To do his thing. Yes. Well, he juked us. Hmm, that was close. Okay. Got him. Good job. It was a good TP by Witch Doctor. I didn't need him, but it was still a good TP. Very good TP. Okay, so we have pretty much lane control, and at this point we just want to keep recruiting our lead. I keep playing these games where this just keeps happening, and then I die like twice in a row, and then because of comeback gold and comeback EXP, their their carry or their safe laner is just back in the game. All right, I need to stop talking. And yes. I thought there was a torrent coming out there. Honestly, I have my ulti, so. Yeah, if he does want to go for anything. I might just... Oh, what am I doing? I need to... I need to actually focus on the game more. Hmm. Gonna shrine. Gonna shrine up. We're gonna get our items. We're sending out a mithril hammer. Our blightstone. So it looks like I'm probably not going to be going for another Wraith Band. I'm just going to be rushing the really fast SO. If I can get it by like 10 minutes, I can do work. I can help this guy. Oh yeah. I can definitely help this guy. Not going to auto attack him yet. I'm just going to use, use my Tsukuchi to get as much distance as I can. There we go. So we get two easy auto attacks off. Um, a lot of players will just get in range. And then they'll just go for an auto attack, and then they'll have to move a little bit more for their next auto attack. And you know that's how you how you miss a kill basically. Oh. Yep. So we're getting very close to our deso. <clears throat> we still have some wand charges. We have wand charges, and we also have our alt. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if they do want to uh, make a play on us. Save our ulti there. Get this creep. Let's see. Oh, the wave is fully dead. I see. Um, so I I don't know I don't know their exact TP timings, and it doesn't really matter actually. Even even with me only having one Sakuchi available, I don't think I'm killable. Uh, but yeah, if all three of them were up here and I was this slow with no mana, I would actually just go back. But I think we can just keep pressuring. We have a Geminate attack, and not enough for that. All right, so we're bringing out a Clarity, and we're bringing out bringing out our full Deso. So we got a pre ten minute Deso, and yeah, we should be looking really good this game, guys. <clears throat> just need to make sure we don't die. If we die to Slark, there's a chance we just straight up give up a thousand gold. And he cuts the net worth difference in half, and then the game just becomes hard. Like I said, that, that has happened to me multiple times already. I need to just be a more patient player. That's the biggest thing. That's like my biggest downfall since I've come back. I keep dying because I'm playing too aggressive. Or like I'm split, or I'm like farming the enemy jungle, and then they just like use shrines and shit. Or I'm fighting them when they're on shrine, and it's it's like, man, it's rough. Oh, should have popped my clarity a little bit ago, but... Go for the denies. Be ultra annoying. Is that la yeah, it latches. He doesn't have ulti. Oh my god, guys. That damage is insane. What? 20 mana break at level 10? 
Okay, that is actually ridiculous. So maybe you could go like for uh, maybe you could go like an attack speed build on Weaver or something. I'm gonna save my Geminate. I'm gonna ulti. Give me the regen or the burst healing rather. And we're gonna be attacking this tower. Make sure we get the last hit, and we're gonna continue to pressure. We're just gonna we're just gonna make a fucking home in here, guys. I might buy buy my own wards, buy some sentries. I do not want to give up my lead. It is way too easy to throw in the current version of Dota. Anyone they send up here though is pretty much dead, so I can actually just keep pushing. My ult is almost up. He probably is very close to hitting 6. I'm gonna get closer before I throw out my bugs. Can't hide from me. <laughs> Alright, get that kill. He's just buying back. Gonna tank it. We're gonna get back so we don't get overwhelming odd. Overwhelming odded. Okay. We could start hunting Shadow Fiend too. But like I said, I just wanna make a home up here. Play it safe, keep accruing our lead. No reason to get too fancy. I keep missing these last hits with my uh, Geminate. Uh, I'm definitely going to get a Lincolns. I don't see why not. Okay. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Oh, he's denying it. Shit. Oof. I don't want him to let. I do not want to deal him. But if he doesn't have his W on him, then there is no chance he wins that fight. Huh. Actually. Should have put my TP away. Instead of my death on my Aquila. I wonder if he's shrining. We can maybe catch him. Oh, he's not shrining. Well, we know he has no ulti down. I'm gonna wait until my Sukuchi's up. And he has no ulti, so he's dead. There we go. And we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. Just keep pushing the lanes in. Keep pushing the lane in. Uh, do jungle rotations and try not to die. So I'm gonna ward it right here. Yes. Put a ward right here, yes. and <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure where to ward here. Mm, probably just right here. I just need to see the shrine. I need to see TP's. That's the biggest thing. That's the thing that keeps killing me. I'm doing this in in most games. The vast majority of games, and then I die because I'm because I have no vision. You know, whereas before, you know, there was no shine. There was less there was less places to TP to. Um, and then you add to the fact that not only can you TP to this, but you can fight around this. So if I chase someone to here, they can just uh, they can start regening up really fast. Um, gives them enough time to get teammates in position. It's actually really frustrating for this type of playstyle. Uh, I mean, he's gonna notice, right? He's gonna farm. Hmm, he lived. Okay. Let's 
go mid. We got this tower, and we can start working on chipping this one down. Not sure if he's intentionally feeding. He might be. Maybe he's not. I want to fight though. I do want to fight. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Whew. We have to get back. See, this is if I die if I die here, it actually becomes a semi real game. See what's the timer? 90 seconds. Um, since we're all in this area, oh man, this looks so tasty. Uh, farm it, dude. You know you want to. You know you want to farm it. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay, so we know that this guy has a blink. like he maybe blinked up here and TP'd out. Or he's just hugging the side. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Let my bug finish that big creep. Whoops. <clears throat> oh, a 12 strength for sure. And I guess with, um... I guess with having mana break innately, uh, Manta would be a really good item on uh, Weaver. You have you already have so much DPS. The thing you're missing is attack speed, which man which which Manta gives you um, gives you another save. And then your illusions, uh, they have the mana burn, so probably a pretty good item. I'm not sure if that's what I want to go though. I think I just want to go more and more damage. I don't think I need any more. Uh, defensive items other than the Lincolns. I think with Lincolns I'm completely fine. Okay, so we're just gonna keep pushing. Let's see, there's a Shadow Fiend. Oh. See if we can kill him. We have our ulti. And we do tremendous amounts of damage. Gonna ulti to get and a bad a bad ulti I will say a bad ulti no reason to do that we already had distance on him in his base because we knew that this is his only escape route right so why did we ulti wasn't a good ulti guys please please oh the mistakes the mistakes so we die but it's fine oh shadow fiend got it what. How did Shadow Fiend get credit for that? Hmm? That's strange. Didn't... Wasn't Kunkka the last one to hit us? Didn't his torrent hit us? Or maybe it didn't. Or maybe it's because Shadow Fiend did the most amount of damage to us. I don't know how it works. I don't know how kill credit works anymore. Um, I'm just gonna assume it's uh, damage done. In like some time window. And... Alright, so I'll see. Skipping Blink for Blade Mill. Can't blame her. It's still not the best thing. I don't know, I guess she can't really kill anyone with Blink. Maybe with Shadow Fiend and her blinking on top of someone, they can get a pick. But even then, you know, it has to be well executed. Okay. I bought that way too slow. What the hell is this? Okay. I can't tell if he's like intentionally feeding or he's just um really slow to use his ulti. He has bugs on him. Shadow Fiend has bugs. So he is going to be taking a tremendous amount of damage. <sighs> oh. He might blink out here. Yep. He does. Ooh, we got the cast, though. That means I probably can run him down. Yes. 
Yeah, that guy's actually kind of just intentionally feeding at this point. I'm just gonna attack the tower. No reason to be greedy. No reason to try and go for kills. Let's just end this game. If they start. they start getting kills this game becomes very long but no this is safe they have bugs on them I can just go for it this guy's gonna feed me oh see does he have root up oh his W isn't up so he can't root him you can't W kill him. Wait, what? I killed him. What the fuck? That was a lot of damage. And that bug was just doing work. Talent doesn't really matter at this point. Um. Oh. Don't want to attack him. I do not want to attack him. Wait, what? Oh, he died because of Jakiro. Shit. Let's keep battling. Fuck it. Lincoln's coming in handy. Oh. Ugh. Moving like a bot right there, like misclicking. Okay. Just gonna keep killing them, guys. This is pretty fun, to be honest. It's one auto attack, man. Sorry, he brings he brings us to safety. Torrent incoming. This might kill him right here. Wait for Blade Mill to run out. There's a chance I just kill myself on it. Hmm. Is there anything I can buy in here? S N Y maybe. I'm just gonna buy a Vlad's. Give us some lifesteal and armor for all of our heroes. Why not? Let's end this game, guys. This has gone on long enough. We have ulti, we're fine. No big deal. Let's just fucking kill the throne. GG. Alright, well, that was this game. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Um, we're gonna be climbing, continuing to climb. Was this guide helpful? Um, yeah, we're just gonna continue to climb. Maybe I'll make this like a... I don't, I don't know what I'm going to calibrate to. There was like some blog posts about how people were over calibrating or under calibrating. And now... Um, now that they kind of fixed it, they kind of rolled it back. There's a certain limit or some shit. Um, there's less variance, rather, in the rating that you can calibrate to based on your your previous rating. So I was kind of, I was kind of, I was kind of upset, actually. Because, you know, I started doing the series. I got like the low 2k account which is the one I'm playing on right now and I was like fuck am I gonna calibrate really high or is this gonna like ruin the series but hopefully we don't calibrate you know um 
if it was low 2k before calibration, even if we win every single game, it might only go up to like 3k or something. That would be pretty good. That would still be a good starting point for the series. Anyways, guys, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Peace.